What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we're continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the shield blocking damage. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright so what we need to do is that when we have our you know shield equipped and we are blocking and we receive damage, we will basically receive half of the damage and just play a little sound. So we have all of this on the third person character blueprint so we open up our player character you can see that we have here the is blocking variable so we will use this one okay so in the health system when we receive damage if we have blocking set to true we will basically receive half instead so in this case let's go to our health system which is here apply damage you can see that we are receiving our damage so before doing anything and decreasing the health and everything like that we are going to make a branch and you just get is blocking is true uh, well it's not true if blocking is uh, not boolean, that means that we are not blocking, so we're gonna do everything like we uh, usually do. Um, but if not, we would do, you know, uh, another decrease health. What we can do is just copy and paste this node, right, put it on false, plug in the PPC stats, and then just connect this to here. But we have a problem, and it's that this output will not, um, you know, we will have two outputs and it will be nice to only have one output so instead what we can do is just get the is blocking variable right uh just you know delete the branch and everything like that and you just go ahead drag it and do a select okay and we can do a select float so we can pick this float right which is just the damage itself or we can pick this damage and divide this by two so you know we will basically receive half of the damage and now we can just plug that to you know the damage uh, input and we just have it nice in just three little nodes and we just don't have a branch and you know all that stuff is just easier and another thing that i am going to do is pretty much i guess that at the end of everything right on false i'm gonna make another branch check if we are blocking and then just go and say play sound at location what sound it will be it will be kind of a, a sort right i think that we have um here yeah we have kind of a sword here um i think that we're gonna use this one uh, let me see the other meta sounds that we have so we have bow shoot elephant footstep grunt hippo knife stab uh we have also sword hit yeah i think that sword hit will work get actor location for the location and for the pitch, maybe we can put it more like uh, 1.5, something like that. And it should, you know, kind of hear a bit better. So let's go ahead and just test this out. I can go here and let's just go to the enemies. Well, first of all, let's get the shield and equip it in our inventory. There we go. And now we can go to our pit where we have our enemies. And let's see. So wait, I need to block and in theory this should work. Okay, so I'm hearing this sound, that's good. And right now we don't know how much damage we are, you know, uh, getting. So let's also at the end uh, print this value. So let's just go here to print uh, and plug in damage uh, divided by two, right? Well, not divided by two, but just the overall float here, okay. So, like that, we'll see what damage we are receiving. And let's also just check what damage we are sending with the enemy, which it is. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Um, it should be on the attack. Here we go. All the traces. Sword trace is the one that we want. We're, uh, okay, so we're sending 10. So, we should have a print of 5. So, let's go ahead and just uh, grab the shield. Go in the inventory. Equip it and go to our enemies jump block and now we should see uh okay so we're getting 10 wait uh 10 okay okay why you're wait. okay so they're actually giving 10 and we should be you know getting uh five so we have this is blocking boolean which you know should be true in this case uh select float okay um that is because 
I am going to actually not print at the end, but let me print at the start. I think that's it, yeah. So let me just print right after we decrease the health, okay? Let's do a double check. So let's plug in again the value that we should get. And it should basically be five, okay? If we go through B, uh, is blocking. Oh, sorry. This is why. So if we are blocking, we're gonna go through A. No, it's the other way around. So we're gonna just add a not Boolean node. So we will inverse this. And now we should, uh, when it's blocking, go to B instead of A. So that's why we were seeing that we got 10, but we actually need the other one. So now let's go ahead and use again, test this out. Go to the enemies, jump here, oh god, jump here, okay, and I'll block, and if they hit me, they're very dumb, come on, guys, <laughs> god, come on, uh, there we go, five, and if I stop blocking, uh, it should be ten, uh, wait, okay, they just killed themselves, they're so stupid, um mm, mm, mm. okay so that in theory should work we were basically getting uh you know uh five uh because we are you know the rmi2 when we are blocking so we should receive less damage and we also on top of that let's delete the the print string and now we don't need this we are also going ahead and you know uh playing a little sound at the end and that's pretty nice Okay, so now we have our blocking control. This one little thing that I want to do is that you can also block without having the shield on. So let's quickly just go to the third person character blueprint. When we equip our shield and so on, we are gonna only basically continue, okay, start to block if we have our shield on. Um, which, let's see, so equip shield. Okay, so... Um, I guess that we could test if we have a static mesh assigned. Um, that can be, uh, yes, let's do this. So we can go ahead and just get this and do um, get static static mesh. And if this is uh, basically valid, that means that we have our shield equipped. And now if I press play, I cannot uh, block, but uh, okay, what just happened? Well, I am. Uh, okay, so we also need to do this check when we stop blocking, okay? Here. And just plug the same value here. Uh, this should work. So, I cannot block now or anything like that, you can see. But I can go and pick my shield. And now, yes, I can block. So that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, remember that I have full access to the private files through Patreon or YouTube members, so link in the description. Join my Discord server to talk with me and other devs. Um, check out my new course with Game Dev TV, how to make a stealth game in Unreal. Follow me on my socials, now yes, for what I said, bye bye.